Golf Wife caught up with Gary Christian, an inspiring story of determination, a rookie on tour at the age of 40. It's been a dream come true so far. It's, uh, you know, I was, I was Facebooking some friends from England who we, we started golf when we were about 14, 15 over the local Muni. And, um, you know, I said, well, I mean, it's amazing how, how far we've come from trying to find balls in the rough to, to use to, you know, I stayed with Wayne Gretzky before my first tournament. I met Bill Clinton, met Arnold Palmer, met Clint Eastwood, you know, met Nick Fowler, who I named my eldest son after, which was uh, quite nice, very large lad. And then uh, played, played golf with Tom Watson last week, which was, I mean, that's, I can't even, I can't even quantify how great that was. It's uh, very, very infrequently you get to meet a hero let alone play golf with a hero. Or if I was a little younger, I'd probably get a little overall by it. But, you know, at 40, being a grizzled veteran, um, I think it's, you know, I probably appreciated it more than most. And, uh, you know, I've, I've kept some good photos and, uh, you know, I kind of keep a, a nice mental journal and everything. So all I've got to do now is do something special and uh, I can write my book. Well, it was a long journey, obviously. Uh, it took me probably longer than most. Uh, uh, I've made it at 40, so I started at 27, so we should do the maths, and as I'm an Auburn graduate, I can work out that's 13 years, so uh, I, uh, funny enough, I played six years on the mini tour, six years on the nationwide tour, and it'd be nice if I could have a six-year minimum on the PGA tour. The good news is, I think when you prove yourself on the web.com tour, um, and you, you finish in that top 25, having won a tournament or two, you know that you have all the tools available to you to, uh, to win on the tour. I feel like I have a, a quiet confidence. You know, I know there's things I can get better at that, uh, you know, over the years people have always asked me, you know, in 13 years of trying and, and, and in effect failing to, to reach the, the, the goal that you set, you know, do you ever, did you ever feel like giving up or, or feel like you just weren't doing the right thing? But, uh, you know, I've always been a realist and uh, if at the end of the year I'd have said to myself, well, there's no chance, you know, my best game is going to finish in the top 10, um, I would have quit that day. You know, I, I play to, to, to be up there with a chance to win and not be happy just for making cuts. It's nice that I am home half a year, so uh, um, it's nice where when I get home, you know, I can take over, taking the children to school and, and letting her relax a little bit. And I even try my hand in the kitchen every now and again as well. It's not terribly successful, but uh, you know, at least with a nice bottle of wine, it uh, makes up for bad cooking. My dream would be, you know, I'd love to be on TV in golf. I mean, I, uh, you know, I think every channel needs a good English voice that knows what they're talking about. And, uh, um, you know, that's something I've always enjoyed listening to. You know, when, you're, when you're describing golf, you, know, it's, you, you have the pictures, but sometimes the words that go with it really make the, uh, really make the scene and really make, uh, you know, make that drama just that little bit more. So uh, yeah, that'd be something I'd like to get into after my playing career. Obviously, it'd be great to have a successful PGA Tour career and then uh, make a seamless entry into the booth. Well, coming out on tour this year, uh, Adams Golf and I uh, entered into a partnership, which was terrific. I, uh, I've always used their hybrids, and you know, I, I think most people will recognize they're the best hybrids in the world. And uh, you know, to be associated with that company um, has been terrific.